These are all for me. I'm not even going to a party. Hi, I'm Chef Maeve, and I am here partnering up with Efi Provisions. Super excited to be showing everyone how to make pastries super simple at your house. Efi Provisions has you covered this Easter. Let's get started. These are the beautiful tart shells that come from Efi Provisions. This one comes in chocolate flavor. And what's so great is you can see that they have been coated with some cocoa butter, which is fantastic because then it stops the pastry cream from softening your shells. And we're just gonna take a spoon and you're gonna plop it on in there. Make sure we fill it right to the edge. Pro tip is we're gonna take the knife and we're just gonna scrape it along. And that's how we get those perfect edges. So we're gonna start with the raspberry blackberry on the tart shell. And look at that, you can see the pastry cream is really holding in there. I mean, give it a shake and shake it. And it still stays in. So that shows you how great their pastry cream is. And this is my second pro tip. How we make berries look so glossy and shiny. This is apricot jelly. You can get different flavors of jelly, but apricot seems to go along with everybody. And then we just take our berries and we roll them. And this also helps with them staying moist and not drying out. And now you see how shiny they are and how pretty they are. Brilliant, now let's do some, some blackberries. I think that the great thing about buying the shells is you're so consistent and they're such a great shape. And now the chocolate shell, which we have pastry cream in, and we're gonna use the Jurassic Park strawberries that I had delivered this morning from a local farmer's market. So we're gonna cut this strawberry in half and we're gonna cut long pieces. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take these slices, right? And we're gonna pop them in, take that center piece, take our next Jurassic Park here, cut some slices again, more little guys. It's like we're getting around three super exciting pieces of strawberry per one. And I'm just making sure that they're all going the same way. There you go. And then we're just gonna take some snow sugar. And snow sugar's great, because it doesn't quite dissolve. And look at how spectacular these little guys are. And look at, they stay together. Look at that. I didn't break apart. These are all for me. I'm not even going to a party. Trifle is fantastic. You can make it two or three days ahead of time and you can take it places. So today, we are doing baby personal trifles. We have bread. I picked up brioche loaf. You can use any variety of bread. You could also use angel food cake. I love the Efi Provisions pastry cream and it really soaks it up. We have some of their Belgian chocolate. We have oranges and then we have melted some of the chocolate and put it in a squeezy bottle. So first we have our pastry cream, but what we're gonna do for this recipe is actually we're gonna add a little extra milk and we're gonna thin it down, which is what I have here. And I whisked it and you can see how nice and creamy and smooth it is. And we're gonna start with some oranges here. So one orange is going to be for decorating. I am cutting these about a quarter inch. We're gonna take them and we're going to line the inside of this mason jar. When you look on the inside of the jar, you can see there's a delicious hole there. And then we have the top rim. Slice this bad boy in half. And he literally fits then perfectly. I'm gonna take the other orange now. And you're gonna push down really hard on this side of the orange. And you're gonna roll it. And you're gonna roll it. And then you finish off. That's how we get rid of all the pith. So we're just gonna cut up the orange and then I'm gonna cut you in half. Do do Great. This brioche I've sliced and let sit for a few hours. That way the moistness has kind of dried out and you get a little bit more firm guy. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to start building and we're gonna toss in our brioche. And now because it's starting to get filled, the oranges will press out. We're gonna take some of the delicious Belgian 50% chocolate. We're gonna take some of our melted chocolate in our squeezy bottle. Great. And then you know my obsession with ice cream scoopers. I will always say it, it's like the best invention on God's green earth. 
and we're gonna pour in a scoop of that. You might have to give it a tap. You really want that pastry cream to settle in. And then you'll see now it's starting to settle, so we need a bit more. Right there, just aim for the middle. We're gonna take some of the orange segments that we cut, and we're gonna toss those in there. Then we're back to the brioche. All right, and then back to our 50% Belgian chocolate. And then a swirl of the melted Belgian chocolate, followed by pastry cream. Oh yeah, see it's all starting to swirl in now. We're gonna take one of our orange slices. Look at that. Okay, that was kind of luck, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm super excited. And you get this beautiful, swirling, gorgeous view. So, we put the lid on, and these come with lids, literally at the grocery store. Just ask for mason jars. We're gonna let this sit, and in two days from now, that pastry cream will fill into the nooks and the crannies of your bread. If you have extra time, and you're feeling you know, fancy pants, you can put a ribbon on this, and you and EV Provisions have made an absolutely spectacular trifle. All my love, kids. Don't be afraid to bake. Baking made easy, right here.